How to find the area of an equilateral triangle. Okay, so let's start off by going over the general equation of how to find the area of a triangle. It's just the area equals one half times the base times the height, or base times height divided by two. Mathematically, they're the same. Alrighty, so first you need to find then the base and the height. In this example, we're given the base is 14. Remember, the height has to be the perpendicular height, meaning the height that is perpendicular from the base. Okay, so I drew a little dashed line for you right there. Since we're given this is 14, we can now just try to find the height, right? Now, in order to do this, we need to remember the relationship of 30, 60, 90 right triangles. Okay, so if you in fact split it in half, okay, we can then try to find the height, okay? Alrighty, so what you need to do is if I split in half, I get a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. And let me explain why, okay? Um, this is, is an equilateral triangle, that's just what, what we're given, okay? And the sum of all the angles of a triangle are 180 degrees. Now, if it's an equilateral triangle, that means all of the internal angles are equal. So if the sum is 180, you can divide it by 3. That means each one of these is 60, okay? Now, if... So that means this is 60 degrees right here. If we split this exactly in half, that means this is 30 and 30 here. So I get 30 and 60. That means this has to be 90 degrees because the sum of all the internal angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Okay, so now I know this is a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Okay, now we recall this is the shorter side. So the shorter side is just... Uh, and when you think of the relationships, you think of it as S or the short side, okay? The hypotenuse is the 2s, or double this length of the short side. And then the middle length is the, whatever this short side is, times the square root of 3. So that means this height right here is going to be s times root 3, or 7 times root 3. And I get the 7 from half of this base here. Okay, so, so this height is 7 root 3, this base is 14, okay? So then we simply multiply the base and the height. Remember the base is 14. 7 root 3 is our height. That gives me 98 root 3. Most math teachers will let you leave it in the square root form, okay? Um, but if uh, your teacher doesn't let you, just remember the square root of 3 is approximately 1 and 7 tenths, or 1.7. Okay. Next, we divide by 2 or multiply by half. Remember, that's where this comes from. So 98 times square root of 3 divided by 2. That gives you 49 times square root of 3. And lastly, we just write the units. Okay. I just put units squared here because we weren't given any units. Okay. But you should still always write the units. All right. So if there aren't any units given, you just write units squared. Alright, and that completes our problem.